so today I thought that I would show what I put in my climbing bag and I've been climbing for about three years and I just acquired all of the things basically to go indoor rock climbing and it is just this massive bag that I put on and so I thought that I would show um, you guys what I put in here. So this is my backpack that I put everything in. It was just an old school backpack and so the front zipper is broken but it's just perfect for getting chalk in it and it's all like worn and stuff so I don't really mind. So the first thing that I got was a chalk bag. And so this is just like normal chalk bag, goes around your waist. And I got it because I was taking a rock climbing class and they didn't have any chalk. And then the climbing gym at school, they run out of chalk a lot as well. And so I just got my, uh, the first thing that I got was chalk bag because it just helps with uh, like getting off sweat and such. And so I thought that, that would be important. And then with that to kind of fill it up, I now buy blocks of chalk. And it comes like in this block and it's like gymnastics chalk, but I just put the little sticker on the bag because I like brands and this is black diamond, which I think is cool. And it is just in this plastic bag that I put in. And so whenever I run out, I just kind of like put some in there um, to refill it. Now the second thing that I got were climbing shoes. And I've done a lot of climbing competitions and last year when I got third in the recreational category, I thought I will get my own shoes since I've been climbing a lot and I thought that after, I think it was like two years of climbing, that okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, they're a little pricey and so that's why I kind of held off on it, but I did get these on sale, which is really nice. And they have worn a bit like on the bottom and then I was doing um, this route where I was like shoving my foot in between rocks and I actually just like, cut one of the strings and so I'm looking to getting a new pair. I've had these for about a year but I have loved them. They're a really good beginner shoe. Um, they're the women's Mad Rock. I started off with the Mad Rock Phoenix and they had more of an arch support which I really liked but they discontinued them. So I can't find them at REI or anything. So I got these ones at Sports LTD um, downtown and it was on sale and so that was really nice but I think they're a good beginner shoe. So these have gotten me through a lot. And then the most recent thing that I got was a harness. I got it for like Christmas and my birthday. And so this is also Black Diamond. It's really nice because it's like this foamy um, consistency basically. And other climbing harnesses, they're just like straps and they're really uncomfortable after a while. And especially like if you're playing someone and it just cuts into you. But these ones are really comfortable. You can sit in it forever. Um, the legs actually have like support and such. And so um, they're just much more comfortable and so I got this and it's nice because if you do go to a gym all those things they all add up you have to rent shoes and a harness and then get a day pass if you are not a member and so I just thought since I've been going so often it is worth the investment of getting it and this was about $60 and then the next thing I got also it was like one I got more for my birthday and the other one I got for Christmas and it is a carabiner and an ATC or belay device and then this is also nice because I don't have to rent it when I go um, other places and then I can just basically have all my stuff and go climbing and don't have to worry about renting things and taking time um, basically from climbing. I can just go ahead. And then also on here I have my belay device card saying that I am certified to belay people. So I am ready to go on that. And then the only other things that I have in this bag is deodorant, just because if I'm going from class and then I have this in my car, then I can just put on some deodorant and go climbing. And then I also have lactate just because I'm lactose intolerant and if, in case like I want to get a yogurt or something with milk in it, I just always carry that around. So I'm not limited to what I can um, eat if I find something with milk or cheese in it. So those are all of the things that I bring with me to uh, when I go rock climbing indoors. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye! I'm going to take this pear and then just slice it, taking out the core.